Hello everybody and welcome back to Tom's computer channel. In the last episode we built this one, it's a dead test diagnostic cartridge for the C64 and now to um, finish the um, diagnostics we made some dongles and try this out. Um, if you test with diagnostic and you have no dongles or no test harness you will have some arrows that comes from the uh, empty connectors and so we will this and then it should be gone. So let's start it. So now we're back on the bench and let's start soldering. First we start with the dongle for the user port. So there we start here with the resistor. Six hundred and eighty ohms resistor. Second thing is the edge connector and the PCB is too wide, you see here. And so you can bend this pins a little bit, I think you see here, to fit this. For this one we use a little bit of flux. Hold this in place. And now flip this over and do the same on the back side. So 
now this is ready and the last thing we have to solder is the LED. ready we have to clean this up and then we have to make the rest For this one we need these DB9 connectors, you see on the upper side are 5 pins, or 5 pads, the lower set are 4 and this here also, upper right row has uh, uh, 5 pins and the lower row have 4 pins, so the only thing you do is just align this. Thank you. 
last is the dongle for the serial drive for serial port and this is a 6 pin DIN connector and for this one we have to um, solder some wires on the back there is the plan for all the materials and the schematics I put the link in the description so that you can make this at your own for this I uh, choose this one and some wire The first bridge we make is from one to five, from this one to this one. Sometimes it's a little bit fiddly and the second one is from this pin 3 to pin 4. All pins are solid. Now we put this together and then we can make a test. So, finished, here are the donuts and now we make a test. So, if you see, everything is connected, here are the donuts for user port and cassette board, for control port, and the diagnostic card from the last video. And now we make a test. If you see all the dongles are working. There are some little LEDs. The sound test uh, doesn't work, you see here the SID is bad, also the control ports, control ports are connected with the SID, here is no SID inside, uh, there is a little problem, when the SID is inside then the screen 
goes bad. But this is for another repair video. So dongles are working. You see this most of the most of the faults are gone. The user port, cassette port, faults uh, are only from this when no dongle or a test harness is connected. So that's it. All it's working. So that's it for this video. You see it's uh, not that difficult to uh, make your own uh, test dongle. With the card from the last video I have now a little test kit and you see it works uh, very good. So now I can start with uh, the repair of my C64. If you like this video, uh, give me a thumbs up. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. This helps the channel uh, to grow. So that's it. See you in the next one. Bye.